Eamon Khan here, four seconds out with world-class trainer Derek James. Derek, great to see you, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. Great to, great to have you here. Derek, I need to ask you. Andy Joshua, when you first stepped through the doors of the gym, what was the... No, no, no you I just got here. Me. I just got here. You I just got here. Me. Not me, not me, not me. He was one of the guys. <laughs> he had like 15 kids. Which one? Y'all left me. You left me. Come, let's go. Come on. Let's go. What's that? Start that again, yeah? Eamon Khan here for seconds out with world class trainer Derek James. Derek, so how are you doing? I'm good, how are you doing? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad at all. Can you tell me that initial point when Anti Joshua came through the doors of your gym, those conversations, what did they develop to? Because he, ch he chose Robert Garcia the first time around, but then he's come well, to you no, now. We never talked the first time. So okay. he just, the first, even though he chose Robert, that was the best bet he thought, whatever, and that's where he went. But, you know, this time it's different. Derek, I keep hearing that with Anthony Joshua, it's this need to bring out the dog in him as a fighter. Is that the case here, or is it more to it than just that? I mean, I never heard it before. I mean, I don't think so. I think that he just has to be the best version of himself, and that's not necessarily a dog, because dogs are not always intelligent. They'll run to, a dog will fight a bear. He's going to lose the fight, but he's going to fight a bear, right? You have to be intelligent, you have to be smart, and choose the right tactics and choose the right whatever to be, be able to be successful. If you have a fighter that mentally isn't there, how would you build that fighter back up? Hey, man, you just got to keep pushing. You gotta, I have to be the best version of myself to get him to be the best version of himself. And just away from that, Errol Spence, what's the latest with him? We're hearing talks of maybe him moving up a division. What's the latest with Errol? I, don't, I haven't heard that. I mean, like everybody, yeah, that's like the third time. I don't know. I mean, I haven't heard that. Derek, pleasure. Thanks for speaking to the seconds out.